Hello mister, today I'm going to talk about the orbicular. There are two types but I'm going to explain the mouth orbicular first. What is this? In human anatomy, the orbicularis oris muscle is a complex of muscle in the lips that encircle the mouth. There is a circular muscle but it is actually composed of four independent quadrants that interlace and give only an appearance of circularity. What is it? Is in the face located in the mouth. Okay, now the function. Is the orbicularis oris muscle control the movement of the mouth and the lips, especially it encircles the mouth, originated in maxilla and have mandible, palate and bones. The muscle insert directly into the lips. Orbicular oris is to control the shape and movement of the lips. It's closed and compressed. Performing this action, orbicularis oris facilitate speech and help in production and have various facial expressions, such as anger, sadness and happiness and more others. The orbicularis oris is a complete sprinter that function is conjunction with the muscle of the facial expression. Now the anatomy. The lips are composed of the orbicularis oris muscle that surrounds the mouth and is covered externally by skin and internally muscle membrane. The upper and low lips are attached by the gingiva, by recent folds of mucose, membrane called the labian frenula. The vascular supply is from the superior and inferior labial branch of the facial arterias. The sensory nerve of the upper lips is the inferior nerve. The mental nerve provides sensory invention for the whole lip. Now, the types of dental and oral diseases. First, cavities. Cavities are also called caries of tooth decay. Then, gum diseases. You can say gingivitis. Gum diseases, also called gingivitis, is inflammation of the gums. Then, periodontitis. Then, cracked or broke teeth or sensitive teeth and oral cancer. If you have this, the only thing that will do better is going to the doctor. The orbicularis muscle of the mouth is a muscle of the face located around the oral opening ellipse shape. And I consider it of two parts, the marginal portion and the lip portion. An important point is that in main Function is to produce the close of the lip and help in padding of the buccal vestry. Now I have a question. What do you learn about this? I learned that I have more muscle in our face that we do we can have facial expression. For example, if I want to be happy, I use this or with other expression. Now the function. When the eyes are closed, the orbital septum along with the tarsal plate provide complete convert of the evil. The septum also cut to keep the evil state and the eyes move. List of clinical correlates. Orbital cellulitis. Periorbital cellulitis. Age relative eye defect. The lateral the orbital septum lies anterior to the lateral palbera ligament where medially the orbital septum pass posteriorly to the medium palbera ligament and the nasogramic sac. The septum is passed by the extracular muscle liberal palpebra superior as well as fibrous extension of the shirt of inferior oblique and inferior rectum muscle. It is also piped by nervous and vessel that pass from the orbit to the face and scalp. Anatomical relation. 
The orbital septum extends into the edling where it's blend with the tarsal place, as well as the superficial lamblea of the liver pubis superior muscle. Thank you for paying attention.